It was back to school for students at Creston High today after those two incidents. 24-hour News 8's Tony Taliavia was there when students arrived this morning and when students left for the day this afternoon. He is live at the high school right now. Tony. Good evening, Susie. Classes were canceled after the second incident yesterday when students returned to Creston High School today. They walked through metal detectors on their way to class. This morning, Superintendent Bernard Taylor said that process went smoothly, no problems. Here is a look at the metal detectors that students did walk through this morning. Now, when classes let out at about 3 o'clock this afternoon, the school's principal, the district's head of security, and a captain with Grand Rapids Police told us there were no reported problems. Administrators do tell us that roughly 100 students were absent today. It's about twice the usual number of absences at Creston High School, which has more than 900 students. We talked with a couple of students as school let out today with their parents' permission. They told us they felt safe today. No problems at all. At the end, they just, you know, thanked everybody because we had a good day. The only thing different was we went through the metal detectors. It was more security guards and police there. So what will happen for security in the future? Administrators tell us the plan is to have those walk-through metal detectors in place again tomorrow. In terms of all the security procedures, they are being evaluated on a day-to-day -day basis based upon how effective they are. A letter was sent home to students and their parents today suggesting that if they see anything in school, to go to school administrators with problems. But if they see anything at home, they should contact Silent Observer whether they see something on Facebook or other social networking sites. Live outside Crescent High School, Tony Talyavia, 24-Hour News 8.